Welcome back to the podcast. Hope you're having a cracking start to the week. Um, last week, I actually jumped on a podcast with one of my good friends. Her name's Courtney Warbank. She is the CEO of the Grow and Glow company. And honestly, there were certain things in the podcast which I thought was just such an amazing conversation that not only am I going to discuss a couple of those points in this podcast, but also I'm going to get the podcast offer, put it on this channel because I think there were so many nuggets in terms of mindset, mental health, coming back through adversity from both of us that I think is going to be really helpful for you guys listening. So um, without further ado, let's jump into it. The topic for today is to give less fucks. And it's not something that I have a conscious thought about, that I don't really give a fuck in terms of what other people think of me. However, what I will say is when Courtney did bring that up in that podcast, it has made me think, why do I have a mindset where it's not that I don't care about other people's thoughts, but why does that not stop me from doing what I want to do? And that isn't in every single situation. There are many a time when I have come up against something where I'm, I thought, oh my God, what if this person thinks that? But ultimately, those thoughts never stop me. And I think it's so important for anyone in life to overcome the thoughts of others to achieve your goals. Main reason for that is we're all gonna die. Six months after we die, people are gonna get used to us not being here and people that you care about what their thoughts are of you, the reality is is they're not gonna really be having too many thoughts of you because what I find is whenever you care about someone else's thoughts of you, it always seems to be someone that's like quite removed from your life or if in my case that does. For example, when I first started out on this journey, I really cared what other coaches would think of my content or what they would do um, and how they do things differently and how they could ridicule me when the reality is is I'm never going to meet them because a lot of people in my industry are self-obsessed dickheads. So um, <clears throat> the one thing that I want to ram home very early on in this podcast is the reason I don't really give too many fucks about what other people think is when I'm lying on my deathbed do I want to think of a life that I loved or do I want to think of a life that could have been so much more but it wasn't because I was constantly held back by other people's faults? Like, it is, it's easier said than done and I'm in a blessed position but I think understanding first and foremost that death is very real, it's going to happen to us all and within a hundred years of us die, all within a hundred years of us all dying, everyone's going to forget us. Do you know what I mean? There's not going to be our grandkids on the planet or whatever. Like, we're just going to be somebody in history. So it really doesn't matter, the faults of others. Secondly, and probably this is actually the most important one, is I understand that I'm not as important in anyone else's journey as I am in my own. And I mean that in two ways. Obviously, what I want to achieve in life is core to my values. And that is what keeps me going every single day and driving me to what I want. But also the reality is, is you're, not in, you're not that important in anyone else's story. So you're thinking, oh, what if this person thinks X, Y, and Z? They might think that you're an absolute dickhead or a bellend, but I can guarantee you the people that you're worried about thinking that, they're not stewing, it, stewing on it all day. They're not thinking, oh, well, let me spend the 16 hours, 17 hours that I'm awake thinking that this person's a dickhead for whatever they're doing. Do you know what I mean? Like an analogy that I like to use with my uh, online fitness clients is if you go down to a beach well, let me give you some context, for, context first. Often people come to me and they say that they're worried about going down to a beach because when they're in a bikini, they're scared that everyone's gonna look at them. The next time you go to a beach, come away from that beach and 
after an hour, name 10 people that you saw down the beach that you didn't know and what they was wearing. You just won't, you just won't. Maybe I'm not somebody that looks at that information, but in my opinion, I couldn't tell you who I bumped into yesterday, who I walked past yesterday. Apart from the people that are really close to me, I'm not gonna tell you many interactions that went on within my life, yeah? I went to the pub yesterday with my mates to watch the rugby. I couldn't tell you what any of those were wearing. Like, you think that in your head, you're so much more important than you are. And the reality is, is like, people get hung up on Instagram or social media, that's a big thing, and it's like, oh, how many likes am I gonna get on this picture? Should I put this up? Will it get likes? Will it get engagement? So on and so forth. If you get 200 likes on a picture, amazing. But also, if you, can you name right now 200 people that you know? Because if I'm honest, after about 30 people, I'd be struggling for numbers. Or I'd say 30 people that I actually care about their opinion properly. So what's the extra 170? Yeah, it's just irrelevant in my opinion. Don't get me wrong. Like my business is online. I like having good engagement. I like having chats in the comments, DMs, whatever. But truth be told, it allows me not to give too many fucks because I understand who and what is important to me. And I think that's where so many people fall down when it comes to caring so much about what other people think and social anxiety and did I say the right thing then? Was I too loud? Was I too bullish? Was I too whatever? The fact of the matter is you are who you are. And again, you're going to be judged whether you do the things in life that you love doing or you live to appease other people because you're scared of upsetting them. So you might as well live a life that you love. And the best thing about doing that is when you live a life that you love, you're gonna attract the right people into your life. When you're constantly putting on different masks to try and fit into different crowds or please other people, you're gonna constantly attract shit in your life because the best thing about not really giving a fuck is people can see that quite quickly and they're gonna understand, well, is that someone that I wanna get to know or not get to know? And frankly, the people that don't wanna get to know me, that's no skin off my teeth. If that's, or is it skin off my back? <laughs> Either way, that's absolutely fine because at the end of the day, I'm happy with the people that I know, I'm happy with who I am as a person and I think that that is a key to me not caring. I know that I'm a good person. I'm sure if you're listening to this, you know you're a good person. So just be that person. Don't, don't live to care too much about what other people think because the reality is, is you're always going to, one, think the negatives, two, probably put a thousand stories together that none of them, one of them, if not, if not none, will be true because all of these stories that you create, I guess that's what anxiety is, yeah? You just, oh, they must be thinking that or I bet they're telling this person that. And another great example is when I started uh, posting fitness content on my socials. I thought I was gonna be in every single group chat around all my mates at home because I was in Australia at the time and Maybe that is true. Maybe everyone was ripping the shit out of me, but three years later, who's laughing now? So I think it's so important going into this week, just understand, no offense to you, of course, but you're not as important as you think you are, and, or you're not as important as you think you are in someone else's story. So stop thinking that they're constantly thinking about you or judging you or whatever. You might be judged in a moment, but so what? Honestly, so what? Like, what is the, what's the worst thing that can happen with that? Somebody saying, oh, like I'll wear skinny jeans. I'm sure people look, look at my jeans and think, fucking hell, he's got skinny legs. Do you know what I mean? Oh, oh my God, let me take up that home and cry about it. No, just, just care less. Um, and the more you care less about the little decisions, that will then impact 
the bigger decisions in my opinion. So you've got to set, you've got to set the standards as little basic things that you just start to give less shits about and prioritize the most, impor the most important person in your journey and in your story, which is yourself. And that doesn't mean be selfish and horrible. That means when you prioritize you, you're gonna be a lot happier. You're gonna attract the right people into your life. You're gonna be making moves that is going to progress you, help you grow, rather than living in this anxious ball and shell where you're constantly second guessing yourself and thinking, well, I can't do that because this person will think X or I can't do this because that person will think Y. No, stay in your lane, do what's right for you. And remember, you're gonna be judged for whatever you do in life. So you might as well be judged for what you want to do rather than the way you think you should act. Short, sharp, loved that one. Um, please do give me a five star rating. If you're watching this on YouTube, please do like and subscribe to the channel and Spotify, obviously, as I say, make sure you're following the podcast to find out when it comes out first. I am Nathan Joseph. This is the Nathan Joseph podcast. Have a fantastic week and we will catch you next Monday.